Hello everyone, this is your friend Ken Trinye here, and I don't know if you know this about me, but I've always tried to get people hyped up, try to spread positivity, and bring change to the world, right? I think that's always been the objective, especially ever since I started the channel. Pretty soon, very very soon, I will make an update about what happened over winter break and how I changed as a person. Like. Gosh, I'm not gonna go into deep detail in this video. I guess it should be in the upcoming video or so But but yes ever since I found out something about myself. I changed a lot on my politics my faith and Many parts of my philosophy and it's been super emotional to me very very emotional um, I kid you not. I don't know how many times I've cried, but It's it, it really hits me hard um, and I guess the big change right now, it's just so mind-boggling like how much of perspectives can change at 17 till now and yet I still have a very similar goal. I want to be a very successful millionaire. I want to learn more about the market and I want to have a huge contribution to the stock market and I believe I can do that and I really hope that one day that I can have a positive impact to the crypto market like Bitcoin. Even though I said that let's wait for the next video about talking about how I changed and what changed about me, what I will grab out of this is that because I've changed a lot as a person, it made it so much more easier for me to do my part in this world and I don't know that exactly. I mean, again, it's still gonna take a long time for me to figure out who I am as a person, but right now I'm following with the saying that it takes a strong individual to stand up for him or herself, but it takes a stronger individual to stand up for others. And ever since I got elected to be a county delegate, I've been having such a motivation to reach out to many people in my generation to speak up for them, to voice up for them. Us as a generation, we gotta unite together. We gotta be together. We gotta tell each other that yes, we need each other. We may not need each other in the exact ways that we thought we may need it, but we gotta keep an open mind because all of our roles are important. Regardless if we're a college Gen Z or a non-college Gen Z, a Democrat Gen Z, a Republican Gen Z, a Christian Gen Z versus an atheist Gen Z, whatever. We have to start uniting. We have to stop judging each other. We have to stop criticizing. Well, I mean, it's okay to criticize, but you can't just fully, fully conclude things that they're this and you're that. You can't, you can't. We have to start uniting because otherwise we won't be the generation that we want to be. I want our generation to be striving to the very best. And it's always best that we make a stronger generation. I know a lot of us aren't married yet, so we don't think about the future of our kids, but we have to be willing to find ways to set up success for our kids' life. Again, I'm not gonna go into the changes just yet, but ever since I found myself and know exactly who I am as a person in my 20s, I've, I've found it so much more easier to give a 20 second pep talk to a person at the gym, for example, right? or compliment someone that they're beautiful. And that's what keeps me going. That keeps me hustling. And yes, I bet my life that Generation Z will be the generation of successors, a generation of millionaires. I know it. We are going to be the glorious generation. Mark my words. I really do bet my life on it. And sometimes, if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. If what my statements don't scare me, then they don't mean anything. But yes, the fact that I said that I'm willing to bet my life that Generation Z, my generation, will be the generation of millionaires and many other successes through art and talent, then I truly, truly don't think it's a beautiful statement or it's a meaningful statement, but it is a beautiful and meaningful statement because I believe in me just as I believe in, in many other of my peers. Shout out to Alicia Ellis for being an amazing entrepreneur. She started her own clothing line and she's hosting a lot of hype talks, hype conferences. It's amazing. And Katie, if you're watching this video, you gotta hear Alicia out. She's amazing and I think you should come to those Zoom meetings. My boy Zach. Zach is an amazing TikToker and I know he's going to have a mansion as he so chooses. And I'm not here to say that we have to have mansions and big houses or nice fancy cars or big amounts of money to be successful, but I want to live this. 
and so does he because that's what we believe in and therefore I believe in Zach just as I believe in Alicia and I believe in Katie I believe in my good friend Gabe for being in computer science one of my close friends aren't in college and one of my other close friends are in college but guess what I believe in both of them that somehow along the lines as we get older as a generation we're gonna help each other because this is what it's all about this is what it's all about we help each other because we believe in each other and that's how you advance a society forward. Overall, I'm gonna say this again because I believe in it, even though it does scare me a little. However, I bet my life that my generation, that Generation Z will be the generation of millionaires and successes through art and talent. Mark my words, again, bright as day, clear. I believe in it, I really do. Again, I'm reaching out to everyone in Generation Z that if you have a dream and regardless you're going through that through college or not I want you to talk to me I want you to reach out to me on my Instagram DMs at YayTuber or Kentron Yay. I want to hear what you have to say if I'm doing something wrong as a community organizer please let me know because if I want to get into politics I got to be a good person who can handle criticism so I want to give the chance of people in my generation to voice up their opinions and inputs because the more we communicate, hey, we'll know what we disagree on and we'll know what we agree on. And guess what? Both agreements and disagreements are beautiful. They're pretty and this is what we need. We need to, we need to value each other because again, we all have a role in this world. Anyways, I can go on tangents in this video. But the shortcoming is, we all need each other, we all play an important role, we help each other because we believe in each other, and I hope you all can do the same as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you just ran across this video and don't know who much about me, please subscribe so you can learn more about me and reach out to me. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please, com and please comment that down below. And if you like this video, then give it a like. Otherwise, peace.